Hey, Jim Lynch back here with another quick tutorial on how to get started with your financial planning. So the first thing I want to show you is how to log in to your planning portal from bayrockfinancial.com. So we're just going to jump over to the homepage and from the homepage, you'll see a drop down in the navigation, client login, you'll go to planning portal and that will take you to the sign up page where if you're not already signed up for financial planning, this is where you'll do that. When you sign up, you'll actually be creating an account with Bayrock Financial and we're using a tool called Right Capital. So that's Right Capital to show us step by step the process that you'll go through after you create your account. Hi, this is Jeff Beaumont at Wright Capital, and in this video, we'll cover the client experience with inputting basic information into their profile. First, you'll receive an email from your advisor. The email will include a link to create your password to your portal. After you've set up your password, you'll land on this screen with a six-step process. Word of wisdom, you don't have to do this all in one sitting. Stop at any time, and the next time you log in, you can pick up right where you left off. Feel free to add any information you want, but I'm going to show you the main items to address before our next meeting. The first section you land on is a family profile with cards for each of your family members. Simply click on each card to change the information. For example, here you'll input the correct date of birth. Remember, when you input any information, click the Save button. Now do that for each family member, and if you don't see all family members here, simply click this drop-down to add additional members. Now, in order to navigate to the next section, you have the option to click this Next button, or you can click on any of one of the steps up here. Also, feel free to skip sections. Simply enter what you can. I'll go ahead and move to the income section where you can input salary and other in income. You'll see a couple of salary cards. You'll want to click on each one of those for various family members and input the gross salary. Click Save. You'll notice a couple Social Security cards as well. If you're not collecting Social Security, nothing to do here. We'll go ahead and input the correct information from your Social Security statement. But if you are collecting, simply click on the card to indicate you're receiving it, input the amount, and click Save. Now, if there are additional income sources that aren't listed, simply add them with this drop-down, select the proper category, and input the information there. I'll click Next, and that will take us to the Savings section. This gives you the opportunity to input all your contributions. For example, if you are contributing to an employer plan, click on this card and input the contributions that you're making. You can do that as a percentage of salary or just an annual dollar amount. Or, if you're making the maximum contribution, you can indicate that, and down below you have the opportunity to input your employer match, if any, and then click Save. Now, if there are accounts that aren't listed here, simply click on the Add Savings drop-down, select the account, and then you can input the correct contribution amounts. So, I'll click Next, and that will take us to the Net Worth section. That allows you to input accounts, properties, and insurance. So, you'll want to start by clicking this Link Account button. Linking accounts is fantastic. It allows you to tie all your financial institutions to your portal, giving you a comprehensive dashboard to visually display your entire financial world. That means you can link your investment accounts, including your employer plan, checking and saving accounts, mortgage and vehicle loans, credit cards, etc. To do that, you would either use a search field or simply select the financial institution if you find it here. Input your username and password that you use to log into that institutional website, click connect. Do that for all your institutions and you're set. Now, when you've completed that, you're done with this section for the most part, but there are a couple tips to share. First, if you've input a debt account and you're making more than the minimum payment, you'll want to add that information. We'll simulate a loan account to show you what that looks like. Now, if you've linked your account, all of this information will automatically populate, including a minimum payment. So let's say your minimum payment is $1,700, but you're putting $2,000 a month toward it. You would write that in the monthly payment amount, click Save, and you're good to go. The next section that you'll want to input information is in regard to your properties. Indicate whether you rent or own your home, indicate the approximate amount you pay in property taxes, and the amount you pay for your annual insurance. Then click Save. The next section here is the ability to add life insurance, so a couple cards are already populated with group life, assuming you may have some with your employer. And if you do, input the death benefit and the annual premium, and if you have life insurance outside of your employer, simply click the Add Account drop-down, Go down to Insurance and select the appropriate policy and input the information there. There's also an other category that we like to use for inputting vehicles and other items. Since these are a part of your net worth, you'll want to make sure that you've got those in here. Give them a value, of course, that can be approximated, and click Save. Now, this Add Account feature allows you to add manually any account, including a stock plan, and under Property, you have the ability to add investment properties and vacation homes, so make sure you're inputting any of those items that you have. So once you've added all your information here, you can click the Next button, and that will take you to the Expense section. Okay, let's quickly pause here. We're most of the way through inputting our data, and we can already see the value for ourselves, let alone for our advisor. 
This review has helped us see our income, savings, and net worth. Now we'll finish up with our expenses and goals. Now, in general, we want to get an accurate snapshot of your lifestyle expenses since we'll be creating planning strategies based on that amount. In essence, maintaining your lifestyle through the life of the plan. However, you might not know that amount. A separate feature is the budgeting module. So instead of entering a single number for total expenses, you can use your linked accounts so the system automatically records and breaks down the expenses by category. You can skip this section for the time being and once you complete the six step process, you can go to the budgeting module that will bring in your monthly spending to give you a starting point to calculate your average monthly lifestyle spending. Please note, the budgeting module requires you link in your accounts. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and click the next button to skip the to the next section. So this is where you have the opportunity to list all of your goals. You can start with a card that is your retirement age goal, and you can use the arrows to change those values and click save. You'll also see a retirement expense card. Enter what you think your retirement spending will be in today's dollars. If you're unsure what amount to use, either leave it blank for now or use your current spending as a starting point. You'll also see a couple cards here for retirement health and long-term care costs. Again, nothing to do here right now. We're simply using these cards for expenses that we anticipate in retirement, but if you've got additional goals that you wanna share with us, whether they be college, vehicles, vacations, weddings, or anything whatsoever, they may not be listed here, you can simply put those in other. Add those cards, input the information, and let us know about your financial goals. Now, once done with that, you're all set. You would simply click this complete button. Congrats, you're done. Your advisor has been notified and can follow up. Thanks for watching.